Hey everybody, it's Ashley. This is going to be a day nine, nine, nine refresh. Um, and I'm just going to be using conditioner today. So I did my hair last Saturday. I styled it with um, Herbal Essences Body Envy Mousse. Um, and today's a refresh throughout the week using my favorite concoction of water and conditioner. I go very heavy on the conditioner. My coarse hair can hold it, um, can hold up to that. It loves it. Um, but I simmer it. I simmer the water and the conditioner together on the stove. It takes less than five minutes because of my Flarisol bottle. A Flarisol bottle spray is very thin and fine. So any kind of thick conditioner, thick product, anything like that jams it up very quickly. So that's where the idea for simmering came. The idea for going more heavy on conditioner came from a Lorraine Massey chat that was recorded. And, you know, I thought I'd change it up. If she recommends it, you know, it's worth a shot. Past refreshes, I've used much more water than I have conditioner. So that led to undesired results. Something that I have learned this week is if you don't have conditioner water simmered or if your spray bottle gets jammed, rinse it out, put regular tap water in and just scrunch in your conditioner. So today I am going to just do conditioner and see what happens. Um, I don't know why it didn't dawn on me. I've been talking about all week um, with this kind of experiment in how long I can go with with just refreshing. I've been talking about how much frizz I got, I've been having. Um, duh, I did that fluff video. I did that how I fluff my curls with a pick video. Of course I've got a lot of frizz. So next time that I cleanse and I go on our wash um, and go on a long stretch again, I'm not going to be fluffing with a pick, you know, just with my hands. Just see what happens. No surprises here. Giovanni Tea Tree Triple Treat will be the conditioner that I use. I'm going to very, very, very lightly dampen my hands. Like, this hand's staying dry. This hand is just a little bit wet. I'm going to put in a little bit of conditioner. Like that. And emulsify it. Flip my head over and scrunch. See what happens. Start with the side and just smooth. If you're new to my little curly channel adventure, check out my other videos. There's lots of information about the amounts I've used, about the conditioners I've tried. Um, I'm brand new to this, not to the curly girl method, but to this refresh stretch. <laughs> um, you know, and I think it's exciting to see how many days I can get of presentable hair because it saves so much time. All right, same thing, just gonna dampen some of my one hand, a little bit of conditioner, emulsify. It has saved me so much time. Um, you know, it is the time of year where I only where I air dry as much as possible, but even with that, you know, my hair dries faster this way. Um, it cuts down on the amount of time it takes me to get ready. I've even been able to do this when I have worked out. I'm waiting for this to stop working. I'm waiting to have like the worst hair days ever. Um, you know, cause you know, it kind of just seems too good to be true. Um, second day hair, third day hair, even when preserved, even when sleeping with a buff, pineapple, etc., has never worked for me. You know, second day presentable hair would be like a unicorn. You know, considering I'm on day nine and I've got these just, you know, ringlets and preserved curls and body. I mean, I have thick, coarse hair anyway. 
volume is never an issue. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with one more little section, paying closer attention to this area. That seems to be where my curls are showing the most, are the worst, worst for wear. That makes sense. You know, that's my canopy that I pull my hair back, I throw my sunglasses on my head, I drive around with my windows down, all the environmental factors, that's where my hair gets most abuse. Again, just a little pump, uh, even less on that pump. Emulsify. Smooth over. I, I'm not finger combing, just smoothing. I don't have lock raking products. I never have. Um, when I apply day one, it's always scrunched. Now I get in there and scrunch. You know, get in at your roots. Don't be afraid to to work in there. But I cannot, you know, for the length of my hair. rake product through which seems silly you know because I can use a Denman I use a wet brush uh, or wide tooth comb you know I use those with great success but I use those when I'm applying my conditioner in the shower so I guess my hypothesis is you know it's great when my curls are being formed and clumping but it's not so great once they're done. So it's Sunday. I've got some errands to run. I worked outside this morning. I've got some meals to prep. You know, got to get myself ready for the week. My hair does not need to look, you know, absolutely perfect, flawless, and fabulous. I'll throw on some makeup and be out the door. But, of course, it's taken me a little bit longer because I'm talking. But this has been less than eight minutes. I'm at, what, seven and a half minutes? You know, not bad. Not bad at all. I always end up doing a side part because I do, just from the weight of my hair, you know, keeping the volume without picking um, is a challenge that I do do somewhat of a side part um, but yeah I mean nine day hair I can't complain let me flip it around actually not transverse I'll flip it around so you guys can see the back if I were to do this in the winter months I would blast it for a few minutes with my blow dryer yeah I mean I'm not mad at this method <laughs> I am not mad at this at all I encourage you, if you have not read the Curly Girl Handbook, get your hands on it. Whenever you see an interview or a video or anything with Lorraine, check it out. She really, she has beautiful hair. She's a beautiful woman. Um, but she really is kind of the gold standard on what to do with curls. Okay, let me see if I can make this as unawkward as possible. And looking at the back of my hair so yeah day nine nine days nine days of these curls I have been using lavender in my refresh that I believe has helped keep it smelling fresh keep me from stinking um, but also this tea tree triple treat tea tree oil is very good um, for any kind of skin issues this also has peppermint oil and that is what I smell I don't smell tea tree I love tea tree I use tea tree oil all the time um, I don't mind the scent my husband hates it um, so if I was walking around smelling like a tea tree oil bottle there would be some protests at home um, but yeah you're not gonna smell the tea tree in this if you're sensitive to the scent of it um, the peppermint oil, the eucalyptus oil, lavender leaf extract in here, rosemary, sage, thyme extract, um, all of those, I think, at least in my hypothesis, 
help with any kind of scalp itchiness that you may get after multiple days and it also helps keeping in keeping your hair smelling very fresh um, PS TJ Maxx $12.99 this really is my favorite stuff um, but I will say you know I've used um, Tresemme Perfectly Undone to make my concoction and been pleased with those results but I don't like Perfectly Undone on its own for my hair um, so if you have a conditioner that you have used, you're not a big fan of, but you don't want to waste it and you don't necessarily have enough to uh, try to sell somebody on a swap board, you know, try to simmer it with water and see if that it, see if it works as a good refresh option for you. All right, day nine curls. I will post a picture at the end of the day. It is 11 o'clock here. Um, you know, so I'll have a picture of the end of the day results um, at the end of this. Whenever I get it edited and up on YouTube. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, need information, holler at me. I'm uh, Instagram. I'm Curls Unfiltered. Um, you can reach me there. I post pictures. I post um, little Insta stories, things like that. You can DM me if you have any questions. Leave a comment here if you need anything. Otherwise, you guys have an awesome day. Bye.